Welcome to Juicebox. My name is Matthew and I'm a contributor at Juicebox DAO. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to receive funds at a .eth address for your Juicebox project. Sending ETH to an ENS address is one of the easiest ways for supporters to interact with a Juicebox project. So in this example, we're going to set up a payment address for our project Flamingo Sunday. We have the ENS domain flamingosunday.eth and we'll configure it so that any ETH sent to that address will go to our project. This will also issue the corresponding tokens to the sender, all from the comfort of your wallet of choice. So before you can receive donations, you'll need to have a Juicebox project for which you are the owner and an ENS name for which you are the owner or controller. So we'll head to juicebox.money. We will connect our wallet and we'll hover under our name in the top right and click My Projects. We'll go to our project Flamingo Sunday, and then we'll click Tools in the top right. So our first step is to create a payment address, which is an address that will send the ETH that it receives to our Juicebox project and issue tokens to the sender if we want to. So we'll click Create Payment Address, and under Payment Memo, you can add an on-chain memo that will display alongside the payment in the project's payment feed. And you can also add an image if you'd like. By default, token minting will be enabled, which means that tokens will be issued to any address that sends ETH to this payment address, just like if they paid the project on juicebox.money. It's worth noting that tokens will not be issued to contributors using custodial platforms like Coinbase. You can also set a custom token beneficiary if you don't want newly minted tokens to go to the sender, but would rather they go to another address. But by default, this is disabled. So we'll click Deploy Payment Address Contract, and we will confirm the transaction in our wallet. All right. So once that transaction is confirmed, we can see the payment address here. We can press this button to copy it to our clipboard. And if ever we want to find this address again, we can just come back to our project page, click Tools, and go to View Deployed Payment Addresses. And it will be listed there. So now we're ready to configure our ENS address. So we'll head to app.ens.domains. We will connect our wallet. And we'll go to My Account in the top right. Next, we'll choose the ENS name that we want to associate with our payment address. So in this case, flamingosunday.eth. Next, we'll click Add Edit Record. And we'll paste the payment address that we just created into the field next to ETH. We'll scroll down and click Confirm. And we'll press Confirm again and we'll confirm that transaction in our wallet. We'll wait for that to go through. All right, our transaction has been confirmed. So we can see now that our ETH address has been set to the payment address that we just created. So the ETH record for our ENS address is now set. When someone sends ETH from their wallet to flamingosunday.eth, the funds will be forwarded to the Flamingo Sunday project on Juicebox, and the sender will receive the corresponding tokens. And you're all set. You can share your new payment address with your community and potential supporters. Be sure to also check out our tutorial on how to set a Juicebox project handle using an ENS address, which gets you a vanity URL like juicebox.money slash at Flamingo Sunday. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or need help along the way, please reach out in the support channel in Juicebox Discord at discord.gg juicebox. Juicebox.